Welcome back now to the new age of what 30-something women want, and it's no longer all about a career. A survey has found women born after 1979 are now more interested in settling down with a partner and having a family. Sophie Hull finds out why. What a girl wants, what a girl needs. I realised that no matter how much I loved my job, it would never love me back. What a girl wants, what a girl needs. I guess I feel... Uh, comfortable where my career is at. Whatever makes me happy sets you free. There isn't the pressure, I think, today to be superwoman and to do it all. There is the choice, a legitimate choice. Okay. In the 80s and 90s, it was all about breaking the glass ceiling, women climbing the corporate ladder into uncharted territory. Now it's starting to look as outdated as shoulder pads. While you do go on maternity leave and take a break, um, the corporate ladder's still going to be there when you get back. Anna Porter spent her 20s becoming a successful health economist. At 31, she's pressed pause on her career thanks to the arrival of baby Millie 12 weeks ago. She'll return to her job part-time later in the year. It was a perfect time, I guess, because in my 20s I did my study and travelled and, and then started my career and then once um, I hit my 30s, while career is still important, family is also important, so everything just kind of fell into place. One day I woke up and realised that I didn't want to go to work anymore, ever again. And this was really shocking to me because I'd always been really ambitious. For Casey Edwards, the feeling that career alone wasn't enough was more acute. Rather than continuing her steep ascent as a management consultant, she stepped sideways to part-time work leaving more time for family and friends and work on a book analysing her thrysis, or 30-something crisis. When I was talking to my friend, we were trying to diagnose ourselves and she said, I don't know what it is, I'm just 30-something and I'm over it. I thought, yeah, that's it, that's, that's what the book's about. The more people she spoke to, the more Casey realised a demanding job wasn't as satisfying as previous generations had led her to believe. There was no hurry to cram it all in, and slowing down wouldn't be the end of her career. Although she was recently retrenched and is expecting her first child. Now we've got to the point where we've realised that our happiness doesn't necessarily come from sitting at the boardroom table, or we need more than just sitting at the boardroom table to be happy. It's about looking forward and thinking, I've got a lot of years left, I'd just like to spend them differently. I think there's been a change of thinking over the generations. Generation Y women are now starting to rethink um, their life plan. According to demographer Bernard Salt, the young women preparing to farewell their 20s have a far more optimistic view of their place in the workforce, thanks to the inroads made by the baby boomer and Generation X women. Some call it arrogance, others progress. I think employers are much more welcoming of women back into the workplace and I think we perhaps changed that view as a consequence of the boom. There were a lot of changes that were made over the last three or four years to welcome back, encourage back, to plead with women to come back into the workforce. Okay. For these women, there's no looking back. This issue is not as simple as babies versus blackberries. Um, it's about reassessing what's important in your life. And for some women, it, it's having a baby. Other women, it's more a metaphorical baby. It's something that's bigger than themselves that they can invest in. Once you hit your 30s, I think you are kind of conscious of your biological clock and, um, and you want to make sure that you do have kids before it becomes too late. <laughs> <laughs> That's Sophie Hull reporting on babies versus blackberries. That was a pretty good line. Let's take a break. We'll have more.